Welcome back, losers. It's episode five of President's Play Wordle. It's the f***ing Catalina wine mixer. What the hell was that? I'm sorry, I was watching Step Brothers last night. Sleepy Joe is useless once again, and this video is epic. Starting at three letter words, presidents compete all the way up to 13 letter words. This video is awesome. Subscribe to Parody Gaming. Let's go. Right, Joe, you're starting on the three letter word. No problem, Obama-rama. This is a good one. This could literally be anything. Knowing Joe, I doubt this is even a word. It is a real word, Grumpy Trumpy, and I've chosen a simple three letter word so even you could get it. Putting myself in Biden's shoes. I'm thinking the word big is a good start. Good idea, Obama. Thinking like a moron is something that comes much more naturally to you than to me. Oh, wow. Not a single letter. Three letters chosen by a complete idiot. This is very hard for me, as I am by far the most intelligent person here. Pick a word, Rumpy Trumpy. It's super easy. Seeing that in the last video, Biden classed your wife as an animal, it's probably another word that's related to you, Trump. My first guess is fat, because that's what Sleepy Joe is. A big fat failure. Or because you are the fattest person I have ever seen. The joke's on you, Biden. I'm currently in peak physical condition, and most of my size is pure muscle. What the f***? Not a single letter again. Not even close, grumpy, trumpy, zero letters again. Do you even know how to play this game, or is your brain as small as your hands? My hands are the perfect size to strangle you with, you useless old man. Oh my god, I completely forgot Trump has small hands. This is fake news, Obama. Comment below if you think Trump has small hands. Biden, I will f kill you. Let's move on, Donald. It's actually crazy. We have no letters yet. My next guess is the word old. I think that sums up Biden pretty well. Hey, Obama-rama, I'm not that old. Yes, you are, Joe. It's a miracle. You haven't already died yet. Hey, I got a yellow letter. Eat that, Trump. Nobody cares, Obama. Well, I care, Trump. At least someone is using their brain instead of just insulting people. Your brain was rotting years ago, Biden. Your speeches say it all. I think it's time for a clue, Joe. This is getting quite hard, actually. One super-duper clue coming right up, Obama-rama. Your clue is that it's nothing to do with Trump. It's about me. Oh, God, I I think I know the word. Me too, Obama. And it's very obvious what it is, as I am the Wordle King. And everyone knows the three-letter word about Biden. What the hell is that? Can't you read Biden? It's dead. Because you are basically so old and useless, you might as well be dead. You spelt dead wrong, Donald. Dead is a four-letter word, you moron. Yes, but not only is Biden very stupid, but this might be another classic trick that Wordle plays on us. This is episode five of Wordle Trump, and not once has Wordle played a trick on us. It has played at least six tricks on us, Obama. You just haven't realized. Oh, for God's sake. He's right, Obama. This game does trick us sometimes. How has it tricked us, Biden? You are the one who chose the word for this round. So is the word dead or not? I actually don't remember. It's not dead, Trump, you ignoramus. I'm typing the answer in now. Get pranked, Trumpy Rumpy, another game of Wordle where you are the stupid one. You didn't even remember the word you picked, you dementia-ridden corpse. Names are okay for custom Wordle guys. Let's move on to a four-letter word, Trump. Buckle up, losers. My turn to pick the word. Well, Trump is picking the word, and it's four letters, so it's obviously either bomb or nuke, like usual. No, no, of course it's not. Don't put bomb or nuke. I promise it's not either of them. Okay, from that reaction, it is 100% one of them. Hey, Joe, I am going to put nuke, and if it's wrong, you put bomb. That way we can get this pointless round over with fast. You got it, Obama-rama. Good thinking. I like it when we team up. We are such a great duo. We are like Batman and Robin or like ranch sauce and cereal. Ranch sauce and cereal. What the f***? Joe. This man literally picked the only food group on the planet that doesn't go with ranch sauce. Don't knock it till you have tried it, guys. And if you want to get really crazy, you can have a glass of milk with it as well. You idiot, Joe. The milk is supposed to go in the bowl with the cereal. That sounds way too complicated. I just pour the cereal on a plate. It's much easier to use my knife and fork that way. This man puts his cereal onto a plate, pours ranch sauce on it, and eats it with a knife and fork. And he's our president. We are all doomed. I'm putting nuke before Joe tells us more weird things. Things he does. Ha ha, screw you, Barack. I told you it was a nuke. Yeah, but that just means it's obviously going to be bomb now. Hey, Joe, just type in bomb and get this round over with. You got it, bomb-a-rama. I'm going to type bomb and end this round. No, Joe, wait. It isn't bomb. It definitely is, Joe. Let me ask you a really important question, Joe. Let's hear it, Trumpy Rumpy. He's just trying to distract you, Joe, so you put any word other than bomb. How do you like your women? What the f***, Trump? I like them hairy. What the f***? Joe. The hairier, the better, I say. Just like my mom used to always say, find yourself a nice, hairy woman and you'll be a happy man. That's only because you're so old Biden that your mom was a caveman. Times have changed, old man, and that's a bad take. Women should be bold from the eyebrows down. I don't like fully bold, but I also don't like a caveman, so I'm on the fence with this one. You're a boring old robot with no opinions, Obama? First of all, stop calling people old. You're older than me. And second, stop talking about this. I don't think we can even talk about this on YouTube. Well, all this this hairy talk has got me excited. I'm going to put Bush because I like a good Bush and it's four letters. No, Joe, this was Trump's plan all along, so you wouldn't put the word bomb. <laughs> You're both idiots. It's so easy to manipulate this old moldy bag of urine. I agree, however, the first letter is B, so now it is obvious the word is bomb, so I'm going to type it now. Don't do it, robot man. I told you it isn't. 
You're going to lose the round if you do. The only thing I'm going to lose is my mind talking to you. I'm typing in bomb and taking the win for this round, you moron. Big mistake, obama Ram. What the actual f*** is this word, Trump? I told you the word wasn't bomb, Obama. Oh, my God, I know what the word is. What is it, Joe? I don't get it. The word is clearly B-mob. What the f*** is a B-mob? It's bomb spelled backwards, Obama. Ha ha, you suck. I thought you were supposed to be smart. You got beat by Sleepy Joe. Yes, very clever, lumpy Trumpy. B-mob is a great word. You f***. Idiots, you can't just make up words every time. First round, Joe puts his own name, and this round, Trump spells a word backwards. Am I the only one taking this game seriously here? My middle name is serious. You're just mad that I outsmarted you. Now hurry up, it's your turn, Barack. Obama's round, this is where things get really boring. Only you would mix up intelligence with boring Donald. Last time your category was birds of prey. Mr. Robot Man better not do that again. Oh, I love birds of prey. Shut it, Sleepy Joe. You had no idea what was happening in that round. I'll keep my five-letter words simple and fun. Don't worry, guys. Good thinking, Obama-rama. I bet $1,000 that the comment section is already guessing your boring word. Just guess a f- word already. Sleepy Joe can go first as his cocaine come down will be happening soon. I told you already, Trump, that cocaine wasn't mine. Yeah, and your dog doesn't bite people. We've heard it all before. Joe, you are first. What's your word? My first word is something very special, similar to my round earlier. The answer is clearly me again. Drugged up. Parkinson's patient is too many letters, Biden. My name, Trumpy Rumpy, is five letters B-I-D-E-N. Oh, a green and a yellow. Well done, Joe. Yes, well done for letting your dog bite everyone in the White House. Drop it, Trump, you swollen Cheeto. My dog just gets a bit excited. Stop giving your dogs cocaine, and maybe they will stop biting people. I don't give my dogs my cocaine. But you admit it's your cocaine? No, I don't have cocaine, Obama. You didn't even call him Obama-rama, so it is your cocaine. No, it isn't. Oh, please, can we move on? No, tell me more about how your dogs eat your cocaine. Joe. Joe. He just left Donald. Why do you do this to him? Because it's funny, Obama. Maybe he will come back. Guess your word, Donald. My word is pizza because I want pizza. Even McDonald's won't make up for how bad this video is going. Nobody will subscribe if Sleepy Joe keeps leaving. I'm sure we can make it work, Donald. We can invite Joe Rogan or someone if he's gone for good. Joe Rogan is a meathead that talks about eating elk in his podcast all day. He's worse than Biden. Oh, he's back. That's right, Obama-rama, and it's time to destroy Trump with my fast reflexes and superior intelligence. Biden, you are by far the worst. Stop Trump. It's okay, Obama-rama, I've got this. My last word was pizza, and I was scammed by Wordle. What's your word, Biden? I'll give you both a clue. My five-letter word is something that we all have a lot of, but Trump has more. Well, it's definitely not ice cream, then, as I have so much ice cream. Oh, I know the answer, and nobody cares about your ice cream, Biden. I think the word is pride. We all have a lot of pride. It's how we become good presidents. But Trump is so delusional with his pride that he clearly has more of it. Well, you know that in this round that the word hasn't got the letters P, I, and D, and contains the letter N, so pride might actually be one of the worst words to choose. Basically, Obama's calling you stupid. Screw you guys, I'm typing in pride because maybe it's a trick. Oh, for f**k's sake. Maybe your pride got in the way, Joe. Sleepy Joe has the pride of a deranged nursing home patient. This has to be the easiest round we have ever played. Come on, guys. Your turn, Grumpy Trumpy. What do you have more of than the two of us? Clearly, the word is woman. You both have old and boring wives, but I have lots of women, always have and always will. The only women you get are inflatable, Donald. And I think you will have a lot less women and a lot more men when you go to prison. Yes, don't drop the soap, Donald. That's fake news, and the word is clearly women. You suck, Trumpy Rumpy. It's not women, and you are off to jail. And of course, I already know the answer, because... Because you are a nerd who stays up all night reading stupid books and gets pegged by Michelle? I don't get f***ing pegged, Trump, you fat, overweight pig. I told you it's all muscle, Obama. Stop insulting Obama-rama. You clearly weight 300 pounds on an empty stomach. And you are wasting away like Christ on the cross, except nobody likes you, and you will be dead any day now. Trump, you are going to get us demonetized again. I think I'll just type my word in now. Yes, please do, Joe. Trump is making it impossible to enjoy this video. I'm guessing our like goal won't be met for the first time today. How many likes was today's goal, Obama? It should have been 5,000, Donald, but you ruined it. We can still do an Obama-rama. Okay, Obama, I will stop talking about you getting pegged and Biden, you stop being useless. 5,000 likes on this video and Biden will shave his head. What? No, I won't. Okay, that's fair. 5,000 likes, please. And comment if you think Trump should shave his head instead. Ah, f- 5,000 likes and Biden shaves his head. If we hit 6,000, then I shave mine. The word is money, something we all have a lot of, but Trump has stolen more. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Wordle. Well done, Joe. Next is six letters. My go, guys, and I have picked my big and scary long six-letter word. I will show you something big, long, and scary if you're not careful, Biden. Daddy Trump, wait, I mean, 
Donnie Trump, you cannot say that. Joe, what the f was that? I just misspoke. Let's move on. It's daddy's, I mean, Donnie's turn to guess my word. Is there even any point in guessing Sleepy Joe's word? He just makes up a stupid word every time it's his turn. I mean, you can't really say much, Trump. One of your words today was bomb spelt backwards. Zip it, Robo Obama. At least my words aren't boring as f like yours. And Biden, you bag of mold, give us a clue on your dumb word, because it's impossible trying to guess what your dumb ass has put. Nope, no clues. Have a few guesses, and I might give a clue if you're struggling. You're so old, you'll probably forget what word you've put by that time. Fuck it. My word is old age. A great word to sum you up, Biden. I hate playing with you two so much. Old age is not a word, it's two separate words. Obama, this is Biden we are talking about. I don't think he has ever put in an actual word. You have to try and put yourself in his brain. No, thank you. Biden's brain seems like a scary place to be. Hey, Rama, Obama, Hama, Pama, the llama. That's me. My brain is a very warm and cozy place covered in ice cream. How is it warm if it's covered in ice cream, you moron? Because in my brain, I invented warm ice cream that doesn't melt, so you can wear necklaces made of ice cream that keep you warm and eat your necklace ice cream whenever you like. I even have a car made out of ice cream in my brain. What the f what are you on about Biden? Why are you not in a mental asylum? I'm not going to lie, Joe. I think you're losing it. I'm going for the word stages to try and find out where the A and G belong. Unlucky Mr. Llama Man. How has my name gone from Barack Obama to Mr. Llama Man? I was once the most powerful person on the planet. Now I'm playing Wordle with you idiots. Shut up, you nerd. You're just mad because you suck at Wordle Obama. Now, Sleepy Joe, hurry up and give us a clue on this terrible word. Okay, fine. The clue is it's a word that describes you, Trump. Are you in love with me or something, Biden? You have called me daddy twice today and why does your word always revolve around me when we play Wordle? The word isn't fat boy again like it was last time you did this. Is it, Joe? No, no, of course not. I googled this one. It's 100% a word. It literally has to be the word legend. It's the only sensible six-letter word that I can think of that describes me. I would bet any amount of money in the world that the word is not legend Trump. F I was sure the word was going to be legend. You would only bet any amount of money on that because you're a poor little bitch Obama with no money. Screw you, Trump. Don't call me a bitch ever again. And the only reason you have so much money is because you don't pay taxes. Screw you, you broke bitch. I pay more taxes than you get paid, Obama. No, you don't. You have literally been fined multiple times for tax fraud. F*** it. My word is taxing, as in it's so taxing to talk to Donald. Leave the jokes to me, Obama. That was dreadful. I think it was a great joke, Obama. Good job. Keep it up. And you got two green letters. Thanks, Joe, but this isn't even a word again, is it? Joe, you idiot. Why do we even play with this rotting old ball bag? He's an idiot. He never puts an actual word. And Obama, you suck at this game as well. I should just play a game on my own at this rate. But guys, I even looked on Google. Nope, and... shut up. I'm interrupting you. You have spoken enough today, you idiot. I'm putting the word famous. Trump, this is episode five. How do you not know how this game works? It's impossible to be famous. The word ends with a G. Of course I know how it works. I invented this game and it's trying to play tricks on us again. It's famous 100%. Unlucky grump, you fat lump. Biden, every single person who has ever loved you was wrong. I will make sure you don't have a peaceful death. Jesus Christ, calm down, Trump. But Joe, I know what the word is and once again, and it is not a word. You promised it was an actual word this time. What's the word, Obama? Don't tell him yet, Obama. Let's see if he can work it out. We will be here all day, Joe. I need to just type it and end this madness. Just wait. Let me ask Trump a question first. You better ask me quick before you forget the question and die from old age, you old f Okay, here's your question. What's your favorite food? What does that have to do with anything? Also, it depends on what day of the week it is. Why does it matter what day of the week it is for what your favorite food is, Trump? Because I'm a very busy man. Unlike you, Obama, you pathetic, retired, washed up president. I am doing different things on different days, so I like different food for the certain things I'm doing on that day. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense. I am surprised. Let's pretend it's Monday. What would your favorite food be then? The Big Mac, of course. I like to call it McDonald's Monday. What about Tuesday, Trump? That would be a Big Mac as well. I like to call it Triple Cheeseburger Tuesday. How the hell is it Triple Cheeseburger Tuesday if you just get a Big Mac again? Because I customize it and add an extra quarter pounder to it, making it a triple Big Mac, of course. Okay, what about Wednesday then, Trump? Mm, that would have to be the Big Mac. So every day of the week it's a Big Mac then? No, of course not. Did you not hear my Tuesday order? Oh my God, I hate talking to this man. Just hurry up and take your turn, Obama. I bet you don't even know what the word is. It's Fat Pig Trump. No, that's impossible. Joe said it was a word that describes me. Haha! Uh -huh. Get pranked, grumpy Trumpy, you fat, disgusting pig. Did the mental hospital test too many drugs on you today? I will push you in front of traffic, you pathetic excuse for a human. This is ridiculous. Calm down, both of you. New rules, no more making up words, you idiots. I want you both to start taking this seriously. Okay, fine. I need to go and practice and study the dictionary first. Yes, good idea, Joe. Make sure you practice and study S. Well Trump, because next video we are doing up 13 letter words, so it's a big one. I don't need to practice. Everyone already knows I'm the king of Wordle, and I'm the king of 13 letter words. 
Bring it on. Oh God, next video is not gonna go well. Everyone, please like the video and subscribe to Parody Gaming to help my sanity.